Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I love Christmas quilts and every year I try to make at least one small one. My favorite kind of fabric to use is panel fabric. What it is, it's a large piece of fabric with a big beautiful printed design on it. It could be whimsical, it can be very glamorous, all kinds of themes. And all I do is just add a simple border to it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of samples of my Christmas panel quilts that I've made. Now this one isn't quite done yet. I've got to put the binding on the edges. But this piece right in here is the panel piece and the outer fabric and the squares in the corner I added on. Now this particular panel I bought at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts probably three or four years ago so I doubt if it's still there. So let me show you another one. This is probably one of my favorites. I really love the border. The border was all little pieces of scraps that I stitched together. This piece here in the middle is panel fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. Almost every year, Joanne's usually will have one or two different Christmas panel fabrics available. I'm not sure what they have this year because all of their fabric was not out. But I'm gonna show you examples of other types of panel fabric that you could use in a quilt. Before I show you that panel fabric, I wanted to show you one more quilt that I made. I think this was made last year. And these are squares that were printed on fabric. That was all they were, was all these different squares. And then I added a simple little border and I used the quilt as you go method for stitching it all together. If you're a beginner, I would learn the quilt as you go method first because it's really, really simple. Before I show you all this panel fabric, I wanna recommend uh, a place that you can go that has a lot of it, and that is Etsy.com. You just go into Etsy and enter Christmas panel fabric, and you will see hundreds of different pieces. This is one that I bought off of there, and it's called Peppermint Candy. And I'm currently working on a tutorial using this particular one. You can keep it all as one piece and maybe make a nice wall hanging out of it. I'm gonna be cutting it up and there's many different ways you can cut it up and make it into a quilt. Now this next one I'm gonna show you are those little squares. See all these? This is just a small piece I had left over. Little squares and you could leave it as one giant piece and put a pretty border on it. Select some of the colors you see in here as your border fabric. Now look at this one. Now this one I've had for quite a few years, but this is pillow panel fabric or placemat panel fabric. But I also can see this as a giant Christmas quilt because you can just buy more of it and make a larger quilt if you wanted to. Also put a nice little border around it. This one I absolutely love. I was hoping to get to it this year. I don't know if I will, but this is just absolutely gorgeous fabric. So I'm looking forward to getting time to, to make this particular one. Now this one here is Joanne Fabrics and Crafts panel fabric. And uh, they may even still have one this year, I'm not Sure, I didn't see it in the store, but again, they didn't have all their Christmas fabric out yet. So hopefully they'll have this one. This is a really nice one. Now this is panel border fabric. I visualize this as the border on a large quilt. This is absolutely beautiful fabric. I've already used some of it, but again, check out Etsy.com. Sometimes you can find this panel fabric on eQuilter.com and Fabric.com. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at the quilts and the panel fabric. I also hope I've inspired you to try to make a panel fabric quilt. Now, don't forget to check below your YouTube screen for all those video links. You just scroll down to the description section, click on show more or the down arrow. It will expand open and you will see all kinds of links. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. See you next time.